name is Safik. I'm the tour guide. This is the Kina Batangan River. So now actually the water level is quite high, yeah? Quite yeah. high. Because of the non-stop of raining. Yep. Yep. Yes, very good Didi. Yeah. So are there crocodiles that come all the way here? Not this close. Yes, this is the official start of the adventure. Yes. Yeah. We start our adventure already. <laughs> now we are going to the Tanjung Bulat Jungle Camp. So Tanjung Bulat Jungle Camp is located in the isolated place in the island of Borneo. Also considered as one of the hidden Shangri-La in the in the island of Borneo. So it's gonna take another um, approximately 10 to 15 minutes from here yeah. to the to the jungle camp it's situated in the in the oxbow lake actually yeah the biggest oxbow lake in kinabatangan river nice right yeah just see the path now <laughs> so here you will experience the same experience with amazon yes yeah. have a look on the left and the right side above Keep your eyes on the animal or the wildlife might appear anytime, anywhere. Yeah. Flying squirrel, they come with two colors. Red giant flying squirrel and black giant flying squirrel. Shortcut just now. Huh. This is the main Kinabatangan River. Yeah, okay. The small river. So we are in the Oxbow Lake. So surrounding this Oxbow Lake and in the middle to show is all rainforest. Okay. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> so we have kopi and tea. Drinking water and then like I said what we have today. Oh it's a sweet potato crisps. Please have a try. Where are we going now, Afik? Uh, we are going for the afternoon river cruise. Afternoon river yeah, cruise. We are looking for some monkeys, birds and maybe also some crocodiles. Crocodiles? Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. And who knows, maybe elephant. Maybe elephant. <laughs> maybe elephant. Orang hutan. Yeah. Yeah. Wild orang hutan. It's not really good if the vine is too many actually because it will kill the primary trees. Oh, yeah. But the good thing about vines, you know what? If you are in the middle of jungle and then if you get close, you just uh, go look for the big vines and then you cut the vines and then you will get uh, clean water to drink. Oh, okay. How long time do you think you can survive on your own without food and, uh, and water? I think one month. One month? Yes. So you drink this water from the vines? From the vines. And what about the food? I, I eat the salad, natural eat? salad. Okay. The wild fern. Wild? Wild fern. Fern. And also the wild ginger. During okay. the jungle trekking, during the day jungle trekking, I will show you some local plants and local herbs here. Okay. And also, we can get some local medicines from the herbs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Looking forward. Yeah. From this boat, it's 12 o'clock now. From this boat, 12 o'clock on the right side, a little bit. The wild proboscis monkey. Yeah. They are going to jump. They are going to jump. Where are they? Oh, that's a big jump. Proboscis monkeys live in a group. Yeah. So. When we are talking about group, there are two types of group: the bachelor group yeah, and the harem group. Today about okay, it. bachelor group also known as a men group, yeah. men yeah, clubs. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, the men's clubs. Meanwhile, the harem group is for the the playboy one, 
Yes. One male and, male and, and with 15 to 20 female with the babies. Yeah. So, in order for you to become the dominant male, okay, at first you have to warn the bachelor group first, the men clubs. They will fighting among of them, and the winner yeah. will conquer a new harem group. Okay, that's how they how they live okay, in their habitat. And then how to identify the male and female one? It's easy, yeah. Just look yeah. at the nose. Yeah. The pointy one is the male one. And the more bigger the belly is also the male one. So the more bigger the belly is the more handsome is the male one. The more macho. The more macho. <laughs> and then yeah, bear in mind, purposes monkey, you might be wanna ask why do they have a big belly? Yes, because they cannot digest glucose. Mm. They cannot digest glucose, yeah. And purposes monkey, they only eat leaf and bitter fruits. They don't eat any sweet things since they cannot digest glucose. So that means they don't eat banana. Oh, yeah. Bear in mind, they don't eat banana. And do you know that in Indonesia, Proboscis monkey is also known as a Dutch monkey. Dutch monkey, yeah, yeah. Actually, I read that in the Lonely Planet Guide. The Dutch, Dutch monkey. monkey. Why? Because of the color. Yeah. Orange. Yeah. In captivity, Proboscis monkeys can live up to, I mean, the longest record is 30 years in captivity because they have enough and proper diet. Meanwhile, in the wild, like this, averagely, 20. Okay. 20 or maybe the longest one, 25. How old before the proboscis monkeys can become independent? So it depends actually. We don't have any accurate data. But I will say approximately starting from the age of 8, 7 to 8 years old, yes, they can become independent mm. in the wild. Actually now in Malaysia, generally in Borneo specifically our researchers are doing their research about the the foods that were consumed by the purposes monkey mm. because they believe that the foods or the meals that were consumed by the purposes monkey is very useful for <coughs> men problem male purposes monkey the moment when they become mature the thing would not be would not go down. <laughs> so that's why they always pose on the pictures. Oh, they're fighting? Yeah. Whoa! Oh. Wow. This is a bachelor group, actually. The boys club. The boys club? Yeah. Whoa! We're in the middle of the action. Yeah. Oh, they're just above us. They're jumping from this side yeah. to this side. From here to here. We are in the middle of the party here. The bachelor party.
So that was it our quick visit at the Tanjung Bulat Jungle Camp. Tanjung Bulat Jungle. Yes. Very unique place. We're gonna miss it. We saw the big four <laughs> of the Bornean wildlife, which is a crocodile, a proboscis monkey, um, orangutan, exactly. Thank you, Tita, uh, and uh, and a hornbill. So the actual the actual thing that we're still missing to to reach the big five is the elephant the pygmy elephant this what we were not very lucky to reach yet and they're very difficult to spot but uh, we're going to the Kinabatangan wetlands resort now we're waiting for our tour guy to to come and pick us up from the Sukao jetty yeah. ah. 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 Ah! 